All right, what's up guys? Today, we're in Central Rock Gym, Syracuse. Hey, what's up, Evan? We have Chad, and we have Johnny. Hey. We also have Abby, she's on her way. She'll be here soon. We are gonna go over power versus flexibility. When I'm power climbing, I'm not thinking about kind of moving my body in maybe the best way. I'm using my momentum to generate to the next holds. I like to climb smoothly and slowly. Uh, I try to find creative solutions to get up things that are difficult. And I climb very statically as well, so I try to use my flexibility to, as an advantage um, while I move pretty statically through problems. And have you guys ever tried to climb the other way? Uh, yes, I'm actually currently working on being more powerful with Evan. Um, because I need to engage my upper body more when I climb certain things. Otherwise, I don't have the strength in my fingers to hold on so powerful. Yeah, I did a bit of a change. I had some injuries and when I got injured, I started moving a lot more slow and static. So I was finding different positions and climbing a lot more slow and trying to work on my flexibility so I could do those things. So I do, I do both. And I think it's really healthy to have a mix of both when you're climbing. It's definitely an advantage to be able to turn the switch and use one or the other. And I've been working on building my upper body strength. I'm a newer climber, so the more climbing I do, I find the more powerful moves I can uh, complete. Let's have them hop on the wall and uh, see what's going on. All right, so what's up first? So up first, we're gonna demonstrate some stuff on this orange folder. Um, it's a bit more of something that I set. When I set it, I thought it was going to be a bit of a power climb, um, but Chad has figured out some alternatives to make some of the moves a little bit easier with his hip, hip flexibility. I still feel fully engaged, but I feel more fully engaged through my entire body because I'm using all my limbs to really spread out all the tension. Um, it's not as upper body based, and I can kind of spread out the load to all four limbs. And I just jump around and use my shoulders to just yank on everything, but I also just don't have the hip flexibility to do that kind of stuff that he does with the heels. So. If I worked on stretching, maybe took some of our yoga classes some more, we'd be in good shape. <laughs> Up next, Chandra and Abby. All right, so Abby's here. <laughs> this is Abby. <laughs> so we're also gonna show you guys how, even when you're doing like an easier climb, you can do it dynamically or powerfully, and also like a little bit more statically with control. Let's see if you guys can figure out who climbs it which way. <laughs> statically so I'm trying to be more of a powerful climber but right now I pretty much climb everything statically. Yeah I usually try dynamic moves about three times and then give up on them and I'm more of like a stemmy bouncy kind of climber but same as Chandra trying to get better. <laughs> Thank you. 
saying? <laughs> Wait, how do you do it if your hips can't open up? Well, this is one of the few that you just can't do. <laughs> Which is why you should always be working on flexibility because if you don't have it, it definitely limits your options. Same thing if you're not powerful, it will also limit your options. So being well-rounded is really important. All right, next up, we're gonna do this black climb. How would you describe this, this black climb coming up? I definitely felt a little more controlled. I generally always climb really slow to kind of think out where I'm going, but at the same time, I can lose a lot of energy that way because I'm thinking for a good amount of time when I'm going to each one. A lot of the time when I can do a route and climb it powerfully, I just feel a lot stronger, or you know, you feel like super cool coming off a climb when you do a cool, powerful move. Definitely helpful to be a well-rounded climber and re-climb climbs that you can already climb using different techniques and different beta. Sometimes I focus too much on doing uh, moves more gracefully when I should be focusing on trying to do it a little faster so I don't lose as much energy towards the end. <laughs> Thank you. I'll see you guys. <laughs> There's many ways to do things. Some people are better at doing it one way and the other, but ultimately being able to do both when needed. Most boulder problems take both in order to accomplish that, uh, especially the harder you get. My takeaway is I need to do more yoga. All right, thanks guys. See ya. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. <laughs> versus or verse? So, uh, yeah, wait, what? What was that? <laughs> <laughs> so, are you gonna ask us another silly question? Thanks for watching. How about you say thanks for watching? I'll say, don't forget to like and subscribe. I like it. And then, see ya. <laughs>